I have one friend who did motorsports and she went on to the motorsports team in freshman year. I noticed her pink hair and I was like, oh, did you go to Somerset? Getting to be around people who are as excited about a project as you are is one of the most awesome feelings in the world. I had friends who liked math and science, but none of them were like, yeah, I want to go build a race car with you. I did summer STEM in the summer of 2018. I did the motorsports race car section. Now she's, you know, holding meetings. She's telling people what to do. She's the one in charge. Having that early experience as a high schooler, I had a little bit of an edge and I kind of knew what I was getting into. I got a really cool introduction into the whole engineering design process, which I didn't have a lot of experience with before. I think one thing that I hear from students again and again is how much they learned to like troubleshooting. When you get a problem, you're like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. <laughs> like, how do I overcome this problem? You can just sometimes get a lot of errors you just can't figure out, but then it ends up being something small. Things can get frustrating. So just being persistent and not giving up. If one person has a problem, that means the team has a problem. Regardless of what you go into in the future, you need to know how to work with people. Our students come from all over New York City, every school, public and private and charter, selective and neighborhood schools, um, and also around the country. We're working to put together classes where students are gonna meet people that have had a different high school experience than they've had and a different life experience because we know from the engineering point of view, that makes for a more productive team. The summer STEM program is meeting for three weeks, four days a week, four hours a day, plus students often work after hours depending on the project. One thing people ask me is, what can you learn about engineering in three weeks? I was surprised too, like just how much information we managed to fit and how much the things that they were learning now connected to things that I was learning in my college classes at Cooper. We don't bring the extra in at the beginning. We wait for students to get to a point where they need something and then we bring the extra in there. This is the place where uh, people's voices are heard and they're solving the problems they wanna solve. We are heading into the second summer where COVID is affecting how we come together and how we work together, but it's making us better engineers. Each of the students were mailed a like, robotics kit with all the parts needed to create a robot that looks like this. It's so cute. It is cute. <laughs> you have to learn to be able to communicate through the screen and have the students tell you what their problems are and be able to fix them without seeing them face to face. We just had a lot of fun. I think it didn't even feel like learning at times. If you're not sure that engineering is for you, Cooper is the place to try it. Engineering is really a field that serves humans. There's a lot of things that you can just look at with an engineering point of view and say, Oh, I can make that better. Some students didn't like the feeling of masks behind their ears. So they designed a little compartment to, that goes around your ear so that there isn't that much pressure on it. COVID doesn't change what Cooper is and who our Cooper community is. We're not limited by a small campus in New York City. We're only limited by our imaginations and that desire to make a difference. Where our community members go, that's where Cooper is.